This week, more signs of a labor market in transition. The Labor Department's annual revision of 12-month job creation between April 2023 and March of this year shows 818,000 fewer jobs were added than previously estimated, bringing down the average number of new jobs per month to about 173,000. Economic data in general is often subject to revisions. It just is sort of another way to get the numbers more accurate as we go. And this is the way it's been happening for years. Though it was the biggest revision since 2009, Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker wasn't surprised by the revision and says the job market is softening. But we see softening from a very high level. It seems to me that we're heading back to what would be normal. Former President Trump quick to try to politicize the data. They never did exist. They built them up so that they could say what a wonderful job they're doing. But in reality, these revisions are routine and occurred when he was president, too. Bill Clinton. Meanwhile, in Chicago, Democrats at their national convention seeking to cement a legacy of job creation. Since the end of the Cold War in 1989, America has created about 51 million new jobs. I swear I take this three times. Even I couldn't believe it. What's the score? Democrats 50, Republicans 1. With the job market cooling off during such a politically charged time, some voters may be paying closer attention than they normally would to economic data. Here's what economists are watching. Are there cracks? Should we be concerned, right? As of right now, we do know that hiring has slowed down, but layoffs have not ticked up. Next week brings fresh reads on inflation and GDP. But first, all eyes will be on Jackson Hole, Wyoming on Friday when Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell gives his annual speech ahead of the Fed's biggest decision of the year, a likely interest rate cut four weeks from now. In Washington, I'm Atra Elnachar reporting.